So in this week's vlog tour, we are hitting Pflugerville, Texas. It is close to North Austin. It is close to Round Rock. It's a Costco. <laughs> it's close to a Costco. Um, and to be honest with you guys, right from the get-go, it's a suburb, it's quaint, uh, not a ton to do, but you know, not everything's for everyone. So if you are interested in just, you know, settling down a little bit, good schools, place for your family, you can play golf, do things like that perfect for you and in this video we're going to talk a little bit more about it show you around and hopefully help you arrive at your own opinion so if that's what you clicked on this video to find out stay tuned Hello again, everybody. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Frank. That right there is Sir Caleb Reitmer, one of the best closers we got. Um, we put out tons of new content all the time, every week, all in regards to living in Austin, Texas, whether it's pros and cons, whether it's comparisons of cities and states, vlog tours like this one, and so much more. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the little bell so that you're notified each and every time we put out a new video ever since we started this youtube channel we've had a lot of fun a lot of hard work as well but we've been loving the reach outs we've been getting from people from the, this country and also all over the place which is really exciting so if you're thinking of moving or selling all in regards to austin texas give us a call shoot us a text send us an email days nights or weekends it does not matter we've got your backward moving to austin texas it's what we love to do it's what we're good at so we do it. Uh, what's up everybody? We're in Pflugerville today. Uh, this is actually my neighborhood that I live in. Um, we've got a beautiful golf course over here. Beautiful Frank. I needed that today. <laughs> so um, yeah, Pflugerville is an awesome place. It kind of varies. You've got West Pflugerville um, all the way, way to East Pflugerville past 130. And that's where this is. The school district here is a little bit better past 130. You got the Hendrickson High School, which is, I believe, a 8 out of 10 rating, which is really good, comparable to Round Rock School Districts, which are very desirable. I actually, I work with a lot of people in Round Rock, and the one area I kind of show them in Pflugerville that is comparable is this little subsection of Pflugerville that's past 130. It's the Hendrickson, um, and it has great uh, Kelly, Kelly, Mid or Kelly Elementary, and I think row middle. So there's all great school districts and um, yeah, it's, 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 a great, it's a great place as far as um, location. You've got Stonehill right around the corner. Uh, you've got a major toll road right here. Stonehill is a, it's a shopping center. It's got a movie theater, a bunch of restaurants and stuff like that. So, uh, and I would say from here, it's maybe five minutes away right down the street it's probably about two three miles away and again great school districts good location 130 so run 130 is a toll road and it's kind of like i-35 but a, a toll road for it it runs all the way from georgetown i think to san marcos almost and so it runs all the way down so it's uh it's a great it's a great road to have next to you and um, there's some good uh parks and there's a decent amount of golf courses around if you like golf. <laughs> I'm not a good golf player, I do play, but uh, I don't keep score. <laughs> Prices for these homes in this neighborhood, and it depends on which part of the neighborhood, this particular part, anywhere from now, you're looking 350 to 550 probably, as far as price point goes and square footage. Different parts of the neighborhood in the area can go all the way up to 700 now. Um, and I think you can get as low as, I think I saw one the other day for right around 300. So that's oh. about as low as you can get. Right, high twos to, to low threes, but those are slim pickings right now because everyone's moving here. One of the things I don't like about Pflugerville is there's no, there's no downtown, there's no, you know, strip of bars or kind of nightlife or hangout spot like there is in Round Rock. There's downtown Round Rock, which uh, if you watch that vlog, then 
I mean, that place is awesome, and I actually go there quite a bit. But Pflugerville, there's just, there's not much to do. It's pretty standard uh, suburb life. You know, you've got neighborhoods, parks, and those are fun. Schools. It's schools. <laughs> those are stores. Yeah, those are fun, uh, decent school districts and, and all of that good stuff. But, um, yeah, and you get your essentials, right? you got close-by grocery stores, movie theaters, and there's fun stuff to do during the day, but there's no... There's no nightlife, right? Um, there is a nice, there's a, I guess the, the nightlife that I do around here is actually, we've got a bowling alley about <laughs> four, four miles down the road. It's got a bar in it. So the bowling alley is the hangout spot for in Pflugerville at nighttime. It's and a hot destination. It's a, it's, a, it's a hot destination. But yeah, that's, I think my, my only complaint is there's not much to do for, you know, those people who really like to get get out at night and go have some fun with with friends because there's just not a lot of things open in yeah. Pflugerville. It's not going to be like a domain. It's not going to be even like a Steiner Ranch or, um, or Lake Travis area. You know, this is close to Round Rock. It's close to what? North Austin, I'd say. Yeah, um, North Austin. And yeah, I mean, it's so close to Round Rock. It's almost like a part of Round Rock. So, I mean, you yeah. can go to downtown Round Rock. It's close enough. It's not far at all. But Pflugerville itself doesn't have uh, anything like that. So I'd say it's not good if, if you want a lot to do, but if you're trying to find a nice safe place with good schools, pretty for your family to relocate to, it's a nail on the head with that one. Yeah, it's got it's got pretty good price point as far as home goes. You know, it's it's decently affordable and you have a good school district. Those are those are the best things about Pflugerville. And that's kind of what you get here. Um, and for some that's enough, for others, not going to be right for you but we just yeah. like to give you guys an idea um regardless because you know when you're moving somewhere it's a huge decision for you and your family and you can read about a place and you can hear about a place but we like to just you know tell it like it is and show you a little bit around so that if you do want something like Pflugerville if it's right for you then there you go you know yeah it's the honest truth it's but again the location is so close to Round Rock and it's not a far commute to Austin or Georgetown where you have a lot of really cool areas and fun things to do even at night but um, Pflugerville itself if you want to stay in there is not gonna have a lot to do but it's close to there's close to plenty of things to do so you can go bowling you can go bowling you can you can even go bowling with me good luck beating me <laughs> I think my I think my high score is uh, 187. I wouldn't try him. Yeah. 187. I'm really competitive. I'll stay in my lane. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> no! Oh, stay in my lane! Yes! I didn't even realize. So Caleb, in your experience, uh, what kind of work is there in this Pflugerville area, and not just within Pflugerville, but within driving distance of Pflugerville? So, in Dell is right off of 45. So 130 is like this, 45 is like this, and Pflugerville is on this side, and Round Rock's on this side, and Dell is right in the middle. So Pflugerville and Round Rock are great low great cities if you work at Dell and that 45 shot the neighborhood that we were just in that's a straight shot down to Dell it's 45 and 35 so it's a straight shot right to it and um, so that's a good location I know that they're building the big old Tesla factory south of 130 so 130 will be a straight shot to the new Tesla uh, plant which is good and then try not to get a wreck yep. <laughs> Uh, and also, so my, uh, I've had some clients who are nurses and there's actually a decent amount of hospitals around a lot. There's a lot of healthcare workers in Round Rock and Pflugerville as well, but 
even nurses who work in Austin will live in Pflugerville because the commute's really not that bad. Um, and that's downtown Austin at uh, St. David's. So the commute from Pflugerville to St. David's is 20, 25 minutes. It's not, not terrible, depending on the person, but that's definitely doable. So I would say, yeah, so some tech, um, your classic industrial, you know, different jobs are here, a lot of retail jobs, but uh, a lot of tech people from the Dell side and the Samsung um, and, and healthcare, I would say. And if you're closer to the Round Rock part of Pflugerville, where you're just a little bit in that area, I do know as well that there are a lot of jobs in education because of the school district there. And not just teaching positions, but within the whole infrastructure of education. Um, that is where a lot of people come here. Uh, it's what a lot of people come here to do. And like you said, Tesla's coming here, 5,000 new jobs. A lot of them are gonna try and be super duper close to wherever that's going to be. But a lot of the smarter ones might find themselves commuting from Pflugerville, which is a great area to do so. And um, something Caleb said to me earlier is, that Pflugerville has everything you need. Um, and I'll finish that by saying it, it has everything you need, but not necessarily everything you want. Um, so for things you might want to do in the nightlife or just more activities, you'll find yourself leaving Pflugerville. But the good news is it's that it's close enough to pretty much anything else. It's one of those suburbs that is, you know, kind of boring once you're in it, but it doesn't take too long to get from point A to point B and find something to do in a place that's just not too far away. So keep that in mind if you're considering moving here. You're not stuck here um, and you'll have options once you kind of leave this general suburban area outside of your usual shops and restaurants and things of that nature. Be sure to comment down below if you have any questions, video ideas, agreements, or disagreements. We'd love to get involved with you guys. And in addition to that, be sure to like this video as well as it really helps us grow and tells us that we're doing a great job providing value for you guys. So somewhere along our drive, it dawned on Caleb that, oh wait, there's a water park in Pflugerville. Here we are just being like, yeah, there's not really much to do. Um, and probably just because neither of us really go here. But, um, yeah, it's called Typhoon, Texas. It's called Typhoon, Texas. Uh, they actually do have some pretty cool slides here. So if you're a water park person, they've got a big old lazy river, some awesome slides where you like almost levitate in the air for like a second. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I've heard great things about it. I'm not one to go here regularly, so I can't speak from personal experience, but I do know a lot of people who really like it. Yeah. yeah. And in my own opinion, I might be a little bit, I guess, too opinionated, but my natural instinct is not to trust <laughs> old looking um, standalone water parks within uh, a random suburb of Austin, Texas. Not to, you know, talk down on local businesses because I am all for local businesses, but yeah, I mean, you look at this place and it looks fun from afar, but you get up close and it just kind of looks like an old fossil. <laughs> it's like, you know, kind of rotting. Not literally, of course, I'm not trying to be that mean, but you know, it's definitely not going to be like a Schlitterbahn or a SeaWorld. Um, we don't even know if it's open, but we wanted to come and show you guys because maybe if it is seasonal, um, I'm not saying it's not safe. You could take your kids <laughs> and uh, enjoy with your kids. But yeah, that's my impression. Um, how long has this been open, do you think? Uh, it's actually probably seven to 10 years. I, it looks older. <laughs> it's actually not that old, but it does look like it was just thrown up. It does. It kind of looks like haphazard, you know what I mean? But again, I am being a little bit unfair. It is pretty cool. And I'm sure once it's like up and running and it's time and it's busy and booming, it's probably a much different site. You know, today's kind of overcast. We're not quite into summer vacation yet. We're going through a pandemic. Um, so it's not going to wow us or anything like that, but... Uh, we wanted to show you guys, so there you go. All right, just talked to an employee we caught walking in the building here at the water park. He confirmed it is seasonal and they open in May. Uh, he said some other stuff that I kind of zoned out to, but that's what you need to know. Opens in May, so if you 
<laughs> don't know when you're watching this right now as, as, as of the making of this video we are in mid-April 2021 um, so just about a month away right in time if you guys come here we help you relocate you can uh, relocate right in time to take your kids to the local Te what, Texas Tycoon Water Park. Typhoon, Texas. <laughs> Typhoon, Texas. <laughs> I give up. All right. There you go. Right now we are in Pflugerville at the Wells Branch Disc Golf Park. It's a pretty cool place. A lot of people hang out here. And actually, so you see those cars and then look at all of those cars lined up. And normally it's even more and the line's even further. A lot of people walk their dogs, dogs here. Um, they play disc golf, obviously. Again, if you don't know what disc golf, just think about Frisbee and golf and put it together. <laughs> um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, they hold tournaments here as well. And it's a fun place to just hang out. It's a cool part of Pflugerville. So in Pflugerville, you do have your pockets of nature as he described, great for disc golf and just walking your dog. I see a lot of dogs here, gorgeous. But then on the other side of the street, you just have an eyesore of construction, of the freeway, loud cars. So, um, it's a little bit of both, you know what I mean? We're, we're giving it to you as honest as we can. We never like to be the cliche realtors who were like, everything's perfect, everything's sunny. You know, we wanna show you the ugly um, because we believe, you know, we might be a new wave of Asians or something, but you know, we don't wanna just, it, it's a lot of money when you relocate. It's a lot of money, it's a big decision and you wanna know when there is horrific construction on the opposite side of the street of a gorgeous disc golf location. So that's that. Back to houses, because that's what we like. Homes with roofs, places to live. So as far as budget wise goes, Pflugerville is a good place for a first, first or second home time home buyer. There's a lot of affordability in Pflugerville. Um, it's just gonna depend on uh, the, it's it's definitely not the place for luxury. There's not a lot of luxury luxury pockets in Pflugerville. There's a lot of suburbs, and they range from kind of lower lower um, pro, lower mid price to I mean higher price. I mean where we were at was the most the more expensive part of Pflugerville on the golf course. And we can, you can get up to around 700,000 there, but that's like the tippy top. Uh, most of those houses are under that. But in other parts of Pflugerville, you can still, there's still a few places out there that you can get in the 200s, but they're going fast and um, they're not gonna be in the 200s for long, but you can definitely get it in between three and 400, plenty of homes available in Pflugerville here. Um, because it's been built, uh, Pflugerville's almost fully developed now, so a lot of the homes are older. Round Rock and Georgetown still have a lot of new homes that are built, that are being built. They have land that can still be developed and built. Pflugerville is almost run out of land that can be built, so everything is fully developed. So some of the homes that are uh, a little bit more affordable in price are a little bit older, but um, the home still stands. It's still good to live in, so yeah. And as Caleb mentioned, Pflugerville is pretty much near completion. Um, Round Rock is still growing a little bit, but that's also pretty much near completion, although Pflugerville is probably more finished than Round Rock. Um, but so if you're wanting a suburb, if you're wanting to relocate with you and your family, and you're wanting a place that is newer, that is growing, that is really expanding, I would check out Leander, Leander, Texas, started small and all these other little suburbs in that area had their turns but now it's leander's turn so if you are wanting something just less established pflugerville is not going to be the right fit for you but if you do want something that is ready for you that is more affordable then it might be the right fit another opportunity that not a lot of people think of around this area is that of an investment opportunity um, 
And with the houses here in Pflugerville specifically being a little bit on the cheaper side, uh, if you are someone who likes to buy something and watch it appreciate, Austin itself is perfect for that because of how hot of a market it is. But you find that in areas like Georgetown or Round Rock or Cedar Park, that still appreciates as well. And when you look at a certain suburb that is more affordable and easier to get into, and you're wanting to either try out investing or you're already an experienced investor, that's another avenue uh, that you could look into even if, even if you're not looking to live here. Um, it's, it's another option just at least for you to explore. Something I would like to add though is if you are someone who isn't ready to stretch the budget, because a lot of you who are watching this, you know, I don't want to speak to only those who are first time buyers. If you have money to work with, Pflugerville is definitely not your choice. But if you are someone who is either wanting to save or get in your first home or anything of the sort where you have to really manage your finances uh, as well as possible, Pflugerville versus the competition is going to be much cheaper. Um, the Cedar Parks of the world, the Leanders, the Round Rocks, the Georgetowns, they're all gonna be a little bit more expensive to live in than Pflugerville. Um, so, not to say that Pflugerville is just bad or anything like that, a bad place to live, um, but it is gonna be more affordable and you still got pretty much just as much as you have in the other suburbs. So if you are considering relocating here and you're looking at all the different suburbs trying to do your homework, let that be known about Pflugerville. The most affordable, um, then you're probably fine when you're comparing it with the other suburbs uh, the greater Austin area. So this is what you can expect in something like Pflugerville, just suburban shopping, restaurants, a lot of it's new, a lot of it's pretty. Right now we're about to just go on living spaces for the hell of it and just go around and probably grab a bite because we are starving. Why would we go to a normal restaurant? I don't know, but we like to live life on the edge. <laughs> and so we will. Another amazingly fun activity for you and the family to do here in Pflugerville that we also forgot to mention is that of <laughs> Costco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a massive Costco over here. So if you don't know what Costco is, um, it's like, it's almost, I mean, it's Sam's Club, but it's called Costco. It's just a wholesale uh, grocery shopping center. Very but, exclusive. You need like, what, an ID card? Yeah, you, you need a membership and you get a card and then that's how they let you in. But it's got great deals. You can buy bulk stuff for really cheap. Um, and it's, they've got some great tasters. So if you want to have a little family appetizer before dinner, you got to go to Costco, get the tasters. It's great. They've also got great pizza, hot dogs, things like that. Oh, like, they do have great pizza actually. Yeah, they, they do, actually yeah. really do. Um, they have a little food court in there, but uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it, and it's right next to this neighborhood. The neighborhood that we were, that we were at on the golf course, this is walking distance from that neighborhood. It's right next to it, which is awesome. So everyone, everyone comes here. It's a big, massive place. Um, you can get everything you need there from groceries to kitchenware to Christmas gifts, pretty much anything you need. Booze. And booze. And um, I grew up on some Costco like dinners that you just throw in the oven. Amazing. One of my favorite is uh, some kind of like pasta lasagna thing. I, I, I'm not a foodie, so I couldn't begin to tell you like the nuances of it. But yeah, great food, pretty much everything you need. Um, the nearest Costco, aside from this, in my mind, is uh, in Cedar Park, which we did a vlog on. Check that out as well. Um, and that Costco is newer. It's probably bigger. Um, but yeah, you do find them sporadically throughout the greater Austin area. So if you are thinking of Pflugerville, you got a Costco. Here we're at Stone Hill. We've got restaurants here. Some of the restaurants that are my favorite. Einstein bagels. I love my bagels. My cheesy Asiago bagels. Um, and my cinnamon toast bagel. My favorites. And we've got, you know, your classics. You got Chick-fil-A, Panera bread. I do love me a Panera bread. Um, McDonald's, you've got all the IHOP. Everything here Do you're making you need. me so hungry right but now. But one of my favorite places, Mod Pizza, you gotta go there if you're in Pflugerville because 
I think I think it's a chain, so they have it in other places. But Mod Pizza, if you haven't heard of it, the subway of pizza places. Like Place. literally, you get a plate. They have the condiments just like Subway, and all of the veggies and meat that you want. And it's one price fits all, and you can put as much stuff on that one pizza as you want. And yeah, it's just for one price, and it's it's the Subway of pizza. It's the best way to describe it, and it's right here. Like Blaze Pizza. You ever been to Blaze? Here, show it real quick right there. Mod. Super fast. Super good. And wait, real quick. Great story about Mod Pizza. Their cashier or their card reader is down, so they can't take card. I have a buddy call me that that's the case that if you have a card payment, they're pretty much just giving you a free pizza because it's broken right now. <laughs> so I rush over there. There's a long line because everyone was calling everyone they knew and said, "Hey, free pizza at Mods right now if you because their card reader is broken." So I got myself a, an extra large giant pizza, put a bunch of toppings on it for free, and it was awesome. My gosh, that's the next level. So hopefully we were able to give you a pretty decent idea of what Pflugerville is like, what you can expect, all of the things, or I guess lack thereof, that you can do here in Pflugerville. It is still a great place to live, but obviously it's not going to be for everyone. It might be an acquired taste. It could be exactly what you're looking for, but I don't just want to go and assume that. So whether it is Pflugerville, so whether it's Cedar Park, Leander, whether you want the downtown area, whether you want to be close to the domain, everything in between, the right golf course, the right school, the right commute to work. What we pride ourselves in doing is helping people when they're relocating here and make it as seamless as possible to where all you guys have to do is pack up your boxes and move and we take care of the rest. Even if you've got to sell where you're at, we can take care of that too. Helping people is what we love to do and we're good at it. But the only way we can help you either buy or sell in the Austin market is by you reaching out to us. So be sure to send us an email, shoot us a text, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day, we've got your back when moving to Austin, Texas. And again, you guys, be sure to subscribe as we put out tons of new content every week all in regards to living in Austin, Texas. Be sure to comment down below as well with any questions, agreements, disagreements, or ideas for future videos we can make for you guys. In addition to all of that, like this video as well as it really helps us grow, it tells us we're doing a great job of providing value to you guys. And until the next one, we will catch we you later. We love you. <laughs> catch you later, guys. So, ah, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Um, <laughs> Oh um, God, it's just literally like <laughs> a freaking statue. Oh man. Okay. Be sure to comment down below as well. With. <laughs> <laughs> so done, dude. Uh, Yo, dude, is that a Pokemon Go sign? Yep.